you're in the right place. What is this episode about? So this week's all about family and how it ties into entrepreneurship. So look out for more great information about how does family time with entrepreneurship. We're going to recap last episode about family and entrepreneurship. And Reds is going back to school. Her, <laughs> she's so happy about it. Her first time going back to school since she's been gone for about eight months with baby Jay. Baby Jay's already five and a half, almost six months old. She's going to daycare starting this week. We're going to grandma's house tomorrow, baby Jay. You ready to go to grandma's house? <laughs> she does not look happy. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna be taking care of her myself and uh, we're gonna slowly get her used to the new transition of mama going to work, daddy going to work, and the balance of entrepreneurship and work because Red still has her Red Zen tea company, huh? Yep. So orders may come in. She still has to take care of that as well. So enjoy this week's episode. and family so there's always going to be new fun obstacles where now I get to take baby Jay like I was saying yesterday to my mom's house so I gotta make sure that I have everything ready I gotta get the car seat and I gotta get my gym stuff and I gotta get her stuff and I get the food and I gotta feed the cats and so now I'm gonna go drop her off and then go to the gym and then go to the office and then start my day so um, a little bit more obstacles but you know Melissa needs to go back to work so it doesn't challenge you doesn't change you so let's get all the stuff ready shall we Baby Jay, you ready to go to Nani's house? Mm. Yeah, Mama's gonna go. Mama's gonna go teach her class today. All right, Baby Jay. So you're gonna go to Nani's house today, okay? And then I'm gonna pick you up, and Mama's gonna go to work. Next phase of life. Are you excited? She's like, look at that mom. She's like, I'm tired. You need to go back to sleep, huh? You look like you're about to go night-night time. All right, we are good to go. 
put this up here. And let's check on her. All right, baby J, you readies? You readies? We're going to Nana's. Let's do it. And because at the time they had direct route to SEAL training, they do now, thank goodness. The following is an excerpt from my book, The Red Circle, that gives you an idea of what it took for me to just get a shot at attending SEAL training. It takes So the gym is done. I'm gonna call my mother to find out what's going on with Baby J. Even though Baby J was with uh, Melissa Rez the whole time and care of her, I went to the office and it was all good. You know, it's like always that like first day, like first day at school, the first day of like you know just like leaving your child for those that you have children. That's like, man, is she okay? What's going on? Want to call her? Want to check on her? So I'm gonna call her right now. It's about 8:20 in the morning. Dropped her off about six o'clock. So it's been about two and a half hours. Let's see how my mother is doing. And she goes by Nani instead of grandma. So let's go ahead and give her a call. Isn't she a good eater? <laughs> Jordan, I'm here. I'm calling to check on you because I was thinking about you. I just got done with the gym. Oh my god, she's smiling. You look cute. I love you, baby girl. So cute. First day back at work. Hi, Angela. And she got me a little survival kit, a bag of goodies. So sweet. Um, the kids are happy to see me so far and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we absolutely crushed it today. Time to get back to the house. And um, I gotta say, it's been interesting. Today's just been a little bit of a different day with, you know, Reds being back at school and Baby J being at the house. But Grandma just sent me a, a little video of her on the jumper and it's right here. Absolutely loved it. So let's go pick her up and let's get back home. And then guess what? We have to look for new roommates. So on top of all of the things to come with the new wedding, <laughs> Melissa going back to school, uh, baby Jay going to daycare, I'm watching her tomorrow. We have to find a new roommate. We have two potential candidates we're looking at tomorrow. Doesn't challenge you, doesn't change you. I'm tired. It's time to go pick up baby Jay. Hi, gorgeous. All right, so this is not a week about the gym. That's in the gym life and working out as an entrepreneur and balancing going to the gym, working out, and being entrepreneurs for the episode on just the gym fitness and how it ties in with entrepreneurship. Early, early bird gets the worm. No one was here besides me. Gotta get it in before I watch Baby J today. Ah, oh, people are coming. Daddy daughter day. It's the next day. Social fam is now Tuesday. And look how big girl she is. She's such a big girl. She eats so good. Huh, baby Jay? You just love to eat. And if you look closely, she has two teeth coming in. You're so cute. <laughs> stepping into my new classroom and this is where I'm supposed to teach computers with a an English program and a math practice program these are the tables and the equipment that I was left with so I've got to kind of make do I've been putting together a quote of the day so students can come and 
learn about the quote, and if they apply it to their life and tell me about the scenario the next day, they get extra credit points, which is awesome. Um, that's the one from yesterday. This is the quote from today. So uh, yeah, first day with uh, Jordan and I, and I am feeding her and she's like, what is going on? She gets so distracted so easily. And so today's our first day. So I'm gonna be juggling family life and also the company. And so this is gonna be day two of this week's episode. Mama went to work and I'm probably just gonna keep on taking care of Jordan every Tuesday. I thought I was gonna have someone else take care of her, but gotta enjoy these precious moments. And she's just like, what are you holding up, dad? And what are you talking about? Huh? All right, we'll stop recording. That's my workstation for the day. You like that? So it's been absolutely interesting. Absolutely interesting? Usually I say absolutely amazing, but it's been absolutely interesting because uh, I've been feeding this one and she wants some of the good stuff. So I'm gonna give her some yogurt and I'm gonna give her some, I'm gonna give her some veggies. And um, yeah, it's been interesting because uh, yeah, you get kind of thrown off your normal routine going to the gym. Ready? Ah, good girl. Your normal routine going to the gym and what have you and what you're normally used to doing and being at your own office and being in your own element to then watching your, your daughter and setting up appointments, taking phone calls, you got it on your nose and everything else. It's been an interesting balancing act. So, uh, mm, yummies. So Melissa gave me a call on her lunch break. She's doing her prep and everything else with school. And I'm feeding Jordan for the second time, and she's already been a couple naps, and she's been a good girl. And Daddy's still been running the business, running the business, taking meetings, making it happen. Doesn't challenge you, doesn't change you, social fam. Good girl. Hey, social fam, I hope you're enjoying this week's YouTube episode on Project Entrepreneur. If you haven't already, hit up that thumbs up button. Could you like this episode? Or do you like any of these episodes we've done so far? Or hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and do that right now. Hit up that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe. Well, thank you for doing that and thank you for contributing to our channel. And what I want to do is right now is I want to pause. We're going to go into seeing how Reds is doing and Baby J and the babysitter and all that type of thing. But for right now, I want to give you something. Yes, I want to give you something for absolutely free. It's called the Digitus app. The Digitus app gives you an ability to be able to save for your future, whether you want to buy something, you want to save for something. And I want to give you $5 for absolutely free. Yes, $5. What was the motivation behind this and why am I using this app? Because of this book here and right now. Now, this book is absolutely amazing, very good secrets about millionaires and what they think about and what they go through through their day to build on top of their wealth. So go ahead and below, click the link, sign up for the Digitus app. All you have to do is put a phone number and a password. You get the app automatically in. Then from there, you connect your account. And yes, you get $5 for absolute free. Doesn't cost you a dime. We'll go ahead and check it out. And let's go ahead and continue the episode, shall we? So as you guys know, I started back at school and we are working on a project. I have a leadership slash computer class that I'm, you know, working on and um, where they practice English language arts and then they also practice um, math problems. But I thought it'd be fun to add in some leadership and affirmation type skills. Um, this is one of the projects we're working on today. This is basically describing and putting down in words with using one word to describe yourself. And it's not just to describe yourself as you know yourself to be, but who you want to be. So some of the kids at first came up and you know, I see them writing shy on the piece of paper and I'm like, is that who you want to be? And then they later changed it to confidence. So I was excited about this because it really does matter who you believe yourself to be. There's the bell, gotta go. So I'm on my way to go get Jordan at daycare. Um, she's being watched by a family friend, which was great because I just wanted her to be with somebody that I was comfortable with and she seems to love it so far. So we'll check up on her in just a minute. Had a pretty good day today. Actually, that project turned out to be pretty good, um, but I have a really hard time missing her and it was hard. It was really hard this week starting school and being without her, it was absolutely heartbreaking to say goodbye to her the first day. And you know, I'm slowly getting better at it, but it's rough. This is exactly why I need to become a full-time entrepreneur so I have more time with Jordan and more time to run my business because it's really hard teaching all day, trying to get stuff done for Red Zen Tea during lunch and after school when I wanna spend time with Jordan. 
um, yeah, that's it's it's tough. Uh, you got to make it work if you want to, you know, switch careers. And I'm willing to make it work. So that's where I'm at. So here we are, ready to pick up Jordan. Friday afternoon, absolutely crushed it here at the office. But this week isn't about entrepreneurship. Oh, it is. I guess entrepreneurship is tied into all these episodes, right? But it's more about family this week. So tonight's date night with uh, with Reds and I, and this week has been crazy with baby Jay going to uh, daycare. I watched her on Tuesday, as you saw. She was with my mom on Monday, as you saw. So tonight, instead of taking her out, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay in, make her some food. We're gonna hang out and watch movies. So let's get to the store and go buy some ingredients for tonight's date night. And what am I gonna make? Hmm, I don't know. Let's go to the store, shall we? Chicken enchiladas. So we're doing some chicken, black beans with the enchilada sauce and some cheese. But baby Jay's going nine at time, so we need to go upstairs. And Melissa said, I need the Merlin soup. Where's it at? Uh, oh, it's right here. We all changed. Hey, Julius. Hi, baby Jay. You ready for night time? Hi, gorgeous. I got your Merlin suit. She about ready, honey? Mm-hmm. Awesome. She is Merlin suited up. Every night she gets up like a marshmallow. Zipped up like a marshmallow. Now it's bedtime. Yeah. Gotta get her book. We've been reading this book to her ever since she was in the womb. I love you to the moon and back. You ready for your book? You ready? You wanna hold it? Let's do it. Let's do it, Mama. I love you to the moon and back. I love our time together as we start each happy day. Invitations. Wedding time! I gotta get the rest of the invitations done and I'll give you guys a sneak peek, social fam, of the invitations for our wedding April 6th. Like less than six weeks, or about six weeks away. Absolutely epic. Baby J is ready. We're about to go on our family run. So I'm at the office right now. Mama's getting her nails done down the way and we have Baby J with us. Hey, Baby J. We're gonna end. We're gonna end this episode very soon, huh? After our run, and I was just telling Baby J that I'm getting together an agreement right now for my partner and I, so we can divvy up some shares and take support Ari to the next level, huh? And I'm teaching Baby J all the things that she needs to know to be super successful in her life, and whatever she wants to do, she can do as long as she puts her mind to it. And she's gonna have a very supportive mama and dada, so you can be successful too, huh, Jordan? Are you excited? You excited to be successful? You gonna help millions of people? Yeah? You gonna help millions of people and help them be successful? And and make the world a better place? Yeah, you are. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, honey! <laughs> honey! I think she's getting at it. She's getting it right now. Honey, we need to... Houston, we have a problem. Rain or shine? Yeah, we got caught in the rain. And uh, we're almost two miles out. And then we're gonna do two miles back, four miles tops. There and back. Uh, we're in Alamo. But we became prepared. And one of the reasons why we we're here and not Hayward is because this is where Reds and I want to uh, want to live. She's got her nails done. I already have my office here, and uh, we we're we are. Whatever the mind can't conceive and believe, it can't achieve. All right. We are. Whatever the mind can't conceive and believe, it can't achieve. All right. Were you just watching that social fam? What is going on? I'm here with Julius. 
and you're behind the scenes editing right before, right before this episode went live, I was, yeah, recording this video. Anyways, that concludes this week's episode, Social Fam. And thank you guys all so much for your continued support. We got Reds upstairs right now. She's she's back there. You see her on the, on the rocker. She's rocking Baby J. Baby J is not feeling so good. Week one at the daycare, already sick. Ah, day in the life of a, of a newborn. So I guess babies in the first year, they get sick like, I don't know, something crazy, like four or five to ten times just so they can build their immune system. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Subscribe to this uh, to our channel. That would help us as well. Show that we're growing and uh, comment below with any questions that you may have. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode on family. And if you haven't checked out that app, check it out, the links below, download it, get $5 today and start saving for your future now. Why not? So we're out. Thank you guys so much. And until next week, stay positive.